In this week's video I've been asked how I can create an aligned section view. Now if you've not created an aligned section view before, the first thing we'll obviously need to do is create a drawing and I'm just going to create a quick drawing from this model. I'll then grab myself uh, a drawing view into, into uh, this drawing um, and from here I can then insert a section view from the view layout toolbar clicking the section view button. Now if we wanted to do uh, an aligned section view we can click this button just here uh, and the way that generally it works is the first thing we need to do is define the center point for this item. But then we can go around and define the position of the legs on this uh, this item so we could connect that to maybe a midpoint uh, of a line. We could go around with the other one and connect that to the middle of a circle for example. You'll then have the options to insert offsets and things like that if you'd like to put an offset which cuts through a different element within your sketch. If I hit the tick though, that will insert my aligned section view. And you can see that just projects out from the model. And we can actually see then both of those faces that we've got in the model there. So it's quite a complex view that you've got here within this section. As well as aligned section views, you can also do other types of section views as well. You'll see you've got this one for auxiliary, which allows you to put a section at an angle, cutting through maybe two holes. I can hold control like this just to move the section view out of position. Uh, I could go in here with the section tool and use a half section as well, which allows me to cut through the model only looking on certain faces. I can move that out of position. Uh, with all of these section views, uh, you can actually get them to rotate as well using the uh, 3D drawing view button, which is a good way to be able to select the view, and you can click this to actually rotate the thing round to a 3D view. It works best with the half sections. And then we can have a look at this item from uh, this angle here. If we want to adjust the uh, cutting edges that we've got here, we can right click on the view, go to properties, and we just need to untick this option just here just to get it to regenerate that cutting shoulder properly. But then we get a quite nice section view created quite quickly. So some useful section tool options within SolidWorks. Thanks very much for watching.